Hello there and welcome to reading challenge number 26. I'm going to be talking today about Bad Brains by Kathy Koja and a little bit about Kathy Koja in general. Now I've not read her sort of more recent work, um, that's on my to read list because my to read list is the size of a mountain at the moment, um, but very very well worth you checking out pretty much everything that she does because she's amazing. I'm talking today about Bad Brains which is from her very early sort of horror writing, though to call it horror is basically it's simplifying it to a to a vast degree. I discovered Kathy Koja in the library and I believe Bad Brains was the first book I ever read by her and that sort of drove me to find her other books. Um, they're quite difficult books. This, this is why you know I say they're not just horror. They are journeys to put it mildly. Um, very tough psychological journeys. Um, written in a style that a lot of people I suppose might find it difficult to get into. You're being given this extraordinary sensory map of everything that's going on and yeah you have to feel your way through. I absolutely adore her writing for that reason. It does not give itself away easily. You have to unpack it. But yes, Bad Brains was the first book I found and I went to find everything else that I could which in the end was sadly only the cipher and Skin and Skin has become one of my top five favourite books of all time. It is incredible. But to return to Bad Brains, there's an artist who has stopped making art. He is not really connected to his artistic drive anymore. When he was creating art, he was trying to do something different. He was reaching for something. Couldn't quite get there and it was frustrating him and he had some stuff happen in his personal life and he sort of left it behind because he's feeling distanced from it. His friend who owns an art gallery has never let up on him. He's like, you know, let me let me just show some of your pieces. Um, why don't you try and paint again? And always trying to encourage him to try again, but he doesn't want to. So he has this normal nine to five job. It's kind of a drudge and he hates it, but he doesn't really want to do anything else. He's just drifting through life. And one day he has a particularly bad day and things go a little bit wrong and he ends up having a pratfall. Just a pratfall, just falls over and ends up smashing his head open in hospital for months, relearning how to walk, relearning how to do everything and there's something else going on. He ends up with this violent epilepsy as well and he sees visions whilst he's having this violent epilepsy and it's terrifying, it sort of plunges him out of his reality into this other reality where this silver thing seems to live and we eventually find out following him sort of as his life disintegrates around him he sort of like gets obsessed with this thing that he can see he goes on this odyssey and all this weird shit happens and this silver thing just keeps getting closer and closer and closer and he thinks it might be inside of him because he has these visions where it's like all over him and um it essentially it's some sort of animus some sort of creative spirit that he may or may not have set loose with his art and may or may not be angry with him because he stopped we don't know the whole point of it is we don't know if he's just hallucinating or whether this thing really exists it's really an unflinching look at humanity and creativity and the things that drive us how our psychology bleeds into our creativity and can turn against us in a way so yeah i would highly recommend reading it um, it's a bit of a trip. You might find it a bit difficult. You might find the writing style a bit difficult, but persevere. It's hard, but well worthwhile. Next Friday, I'm going to be talking about The Sonambulist by Essie Fox, which has been in my bookcase for, oh, a bajillion years. Just a bajillion, bajillion years. And I finally got around to reading it. And so I'll be talking about that next Friday, and I hope you'll join me then. Thank you for watching today. Bye.